Hello everyone, it's Chris with Disney Dynamics again, and today we're going to be doing something we haven't done in quite a while because I simply haven't had time. Over the holidays we had box after box after box and it was crazy. Um, I don't know if you remember, probably a month and a half ago we did a can from the Disney Backstage Collection, which is a t-shirt and a pin and a story kind of thing. Um, since then, we have actually received two of them, so we're gonna do both of them on today's video. Let's take a peek at them. What? Oh my god! Discount snaps. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. Yeah, it worked a little better that time. So, just a reminder. This is the first one we got. So this is release number one, right there. The second one to arrive was actually number three. And the third one to arrive was number two. So we're gonna start with the, do it in the correct order. We'll start with the second one. So let's take a look. So the first thing I see is the coaster that has the story on it. And we'll start with that. It's 2013 and Disney and Pixar's Toy Story 4 is in development with humor and heart and trial and error Pixar animators are busy brainstorming memorable characters through a series of impromptu sketches. Your exclusive t-shirt features one such drawing, with Duke Kaboom showing Woody how to do a daredevil pose. And on your collectible pin is Forky chatting up a cat-faced shoe. Drawn as a gag because the new Pixar character was described as so naive. He would talk to anything with a face. Very cute, and well you saw the picture when I put it on the screen. All right, so we've got a t-shirt. Let's take a peek at this real quick. All right. I'm hoping, the first one I got, the neck was pretty loose on it, but I'm hoping this one will be a little better. So, it says, am I doing it right? Very good, cowboy. Don't bend your knees. And it's a sketch. That is very cute. Let's give it a shot. Much better. This one fits way better than the first one I got. The neck is nice and tight. It's very light, thin shirt, but it feels really quality. It's a nice material. And it fits really well. All right. All right. Let's take a peek inside and look at the pin that it came with. All right. So it has a sketch in it. I'll actually put the the big picture up on the screen so you can take a look. It's a very nice pin. And on the back it says, Pixar Backstage. Very cool. And it's all, obviously, Pixar. And it's got the Pixar ball and... Very nice. All right. So that was number two release. All right. And for number three. So this one has three caballeros. Very cute. I'll actually throw the picture up on the screen with the whole thing rotating so you can see it all the way around. Nice. Pop this open and let's see what we got here. So there's the t-shirt. Let's find the card. I'll throw that up there so you can read along with me. <clears throat> In the 1944 world premiere of Disney's The Three Caballeros, Audiences encountered a wildly experimental animated musical that shunned traditional animation and editing styles. It was too progressive for one of the three animation di directors, but Walt Disney loved it. And though the story is in part inspired from the 1920s vaudeville, the film is very much a product of its time. Proof of this can be seen in sketches on your tea and pin. A Mexican charro rooster, a South American parrot, and an American duck, which reflect the sentiments of the 1940s good neighbor policy. All right. Oh, this shirt actually has buttons on it. Let's take a peek. All right. So this one is a very different style. Let's see here. This one has all over print on the front and the back. And it's still a T, but it has just this button-down area right in the front. 
and like I said it's on the back as well and this has this patch on the arm Let's see how this one fits nice this one again fits really nice in the collar the sleeves are a little bit longer but I like it all right let's see what the pin is So it's a framed picture, I'll put a better shot up on the screen for you, of the Three Caballeros. And it's got decorative little guitars on the edges as the frame, very cute. I like it very much. So these are available through shopdisney.com. Um, it's been a while since I ordered this, but I believe if you order, it depends on how many months you order, the cheaper it gets, but I think that it starts about $40 per can. Um, and honestly, the cans are part of the coolest thing about these, in my opinion. I, do, I mean, I like the shirts and I like the pins, obviously, but um, these are a pretty cool collector's item. Even if it's just for storing stuff or whatever you want to do with them, I really like them. And that's it. I hope you liked today's video. If you would like to take a look at last week's video, I'll put it right here. It was uh, Bibbidi Bobbidi Box's Ultimate Magic Box. Take a peek at that. And if you would like to subscribe, please subscribe. Hit the button right here. I would really appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. I hope you're having a great day.